Ayo hey, everybody, it is May 15th, 2018. I'm Savino, this is Sushi Talks. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, I'm gonna try to do a 10 minute video, but my ass is getting kicked by allergies and um, I just don't feel like it. But uh, I have a session coming up soon, so if I can get this whole video done, fuck yeah. So, alright, anyways, first off, Shamelessly promoting myself. Check out my website, hanasushibeats.com. H A N A Sushi S U S H I B E A T S.com. Get the hottest beats on the internet. Uh, I'm going to be uploading a lot more instrumentals soon. Just been busy doing a lot of other shit. Uh, deal with it. But I'll be getting new beats up there soon. So, hell yeah. Alright, with that said, what we're going to talk about today is. This is going to be more for beat makers. Alright. We're going to be talking about the benefits of making a lot of instrumentals opposed to, to you know, fo spending all your time and effort on one in instrumental. Alright. Now, uh, one of the big things about producing a lot of instrumentals over a, sm a short period of time, like maybe give yourself a goal, like... I'm going to make t um, five beats today, or I'm going to make uh, 15 beats this week or something, all right? So what you want to do now is, you know, shoot for that goal. Try to get that. But you don't want to spend too much time on each track. The reason I say that is, especially if you're just starting off, if you spend all your creati creativity, all your efforts on just that one track, you're wasting creativity that you could be using on other projects. Um, and, and not only that, but you're wasting time, you know? So, you know, you might spend uh, a week or two just working on one instrumental, trying to make it, you know, perfect, but uh, that's not a real thing. That's an illusion, you know? People will decide if it's perfect, even if it's not. Uh, the human ear is almost, in a sense, perfection, right? So. Basically, if you're, if you're spending a lot of time making a lot of instrumentals, then you're forcing yourself to use creativity in all different types of ways, opposed to looking at the same song and uh, listening to it for countless hours and hoping that you're going to do something different to it, you know? Uh, I've definitely worked with people who, who will spend uh, years on, on one project, and, you know, it's it's interesting to me because I feel like I wonder how many projects they could have made in that in that time just working on one, spending three months on each song almost. So that's something to think about. You know, it's it's like your your time and your energy matter. So stop wasting it on just one. If you're focusing on just one, you're going to be creating. You might you know you might develop that into a, a pretty good song if there's already. Uh, some type of chance that it could be a good song if there's potential, but most of the time I feel like people that are just starting off You know, they're just trying to learn about their own sound and they're trying to develop their style and what, like what do they even like? You know, so I feel like if you expose yourself to a lot of um, Different beats instead of just making one beat you get the opportunity to develop faster in a sense too, you know uh, another reason that I believe that making multiple beats is better than just making one beat a day is that it keeps you from stalling like I find that if I spend a lot of time on one beat which I haven't done in years but like when I first started off uh, you know I, I would spend like a week on one beat or like two days making one beat and stuff you know and I think a lot of it had to do with just my work my um, I was slower with the computer and uh, just still learning the process of everything. So my uh, my speed wasn't that up uh, up to date, you know, up to par. But I find that when you spend all your efforts on just that one song or your time and efforts, you you're, you're allowing yourself to stall, like where you don't um, the idea seem flat. You don't really you're not into it anymore. Whatever the the first initial feeling of that song is way gone and uh you know you might have totally fucked up the song because you spent oh, too much time on it and you overdid it overproduced it you know so oh, that's another thing while this is on my mind a good habit to get into is save a lot so if i save um not the store so if you 
save um, save the project, call it a uh, you know angry beat, right? So then, uh, if you're gonna try something that might change the song or the feeling, just save it uh, save it as new and ch save it as a uh, angry beat one, and just put it in the same exact folder. That way, you can always go back to the previous style that you liked more, if if need be. Uh, let's see what else. Yes. Uh, another thing too, when you're making a lot of instrumentals, uh, neuroscience has proven that you're actually developing a stronger connection with uh, with your brain and the instrument. In this case, it'd be making beats, right? So, as as you're working on whether you're playing the keyboard or or you're just using the the DAW, right? If you're using FL Studio or Pro Tools or something to make the instrumental. The more that you do that, the stronger that bond. Sh if you're, um, yeah, the the stronger that bond should be with uh, that task. It, you know, it's a lot like uh, how computers run too. The first time a computer does something, it might be slower, but uh, as it collects data, it, it saves like bookmarks almost. I forgot what they're called, but kind of to, to freshen the page quicker. It might be cookies. I don't remember, but uh, you know, that's essentially in a sense, it's kind of like the same thing. The more that you play. Uh, the more that you make beats, you're gonna start visually seeing beats from a different perspective than that than that you originally had. I know for me, it it seems to be changing every week or two that the way I hear music's different than uh, the previous week or two, uh, and that's just because I'm I'm submerging myself in music nonstop. Even when I'm uh, having fun and partying with my friends and stuff, I'm still like a part of me is thinking about music. So you know, it's like as as you continue to carry on with your craft, the, the stronger the connection should be with that craft. If you're doing the things, if you're doing things right, if you're doing things wrong, then you're gonna just keep doing the same thing, over and over again, expecting different results, and you are a psychopath. So stop doing that. Uh, what else? Oh yeah. So another thing it'll do is it will expose you to um, more experiences. And when you're exposed to more experiences, you develop one stronger um, connection, like I said, with, with your mind and making the music. But also it's like you will be able to handle certain type of situations way better than if uh, being thrown into the fire. Because, you, again, you've gained that experience. You know what to expect. You know, say you're in a session and uh, everything's working fine until the client comes in. And all of a sudden the equipment starts acting up. Uh, what do you do in those situations? You have to learn how to troubleshoot. That comes from exposing yourself to more situations, and more experiences. If you make hip hop, then you should be focusing on making a lot of different types of hip hop uh, beats. You know, if that's really what you want to focus on. If you're trying to be more of, a, say, like a music producer that has a broad catalog of sounds that they can make, then you know maybe you decide that I'm gonna make a hip hop beat today, a pop beat today, and I'm gonna make a uh, uh, an R&B beat or something, right? Maybe that's what you set yourself um, expectations, set yourself goals. That way, that uh, you're always working towards something, and you and that way you could actually better yourself. All right. Um, like I said, also more experience, more positive experiences will create more confidence in your craft, in your art. So think about that too. All right. Uh, like I said, you develop a faster work process. And if you have a faster work process, one, you'll look more professional. Two, time is money. And, it, you know, when clients are spending money in the studio, you're on their time. And if they have to be holding up, waiting for you because you're a slow worker, that's fucking up the vibe for everyone. So stop that shit. Think of, um, you got to start thinking about what the, it's the client's time. So you have to be quick. You know, I try to do everything as quick as possible when I'm with a client. That way... We're spending more time being creative and less time dealing with technical shit. Alright. Uh, like I said, uh, your style will develop at a faster rate if you're making a lot of beats at once. If you're making five beats a day, you will improve way, 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 way faster than the guy that's just, or the girl that's doing one beat a day, alright? It's, it's common sense. It's just the more that you do, the more you're exposing yourself to it, the more that you can develop that, right? It's just like shooting free throws, uh, taking tests, all that stuff. The more you expose yourself to it, the better you should get at it. 
the better you get at it, then you can turn it into something. And you can make no, uh, turn nothing into something, all right? Um, more opportunities you'll also get if you make a lot more beats because it's a number game, all right? If, uh, if you spend all your time making one beat and nobody likes that beat, then you're fucking around doing nothing, <laughs> you know? But if you make a bunch of beats and you could get a bunch of different artists to like your beats, uh, then you're going to start networking and then you start building a catalog and, and you'll be getting experience recording people, you'll be getting experience um, mixing songs, you know, so it definitely is a, a numbers game, everybody. Uh, like, that's why I say, try to make five, ten beats a day. Oh, all right, my client's here. Uh, I will touch, talk more about this later, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will talk to you soon.